Why do F1 cars break apart when they crash? Hello and welcome to another video from World of Racing. So today, we will discuss why F1 cars seem to break into so many pieces when they crash. Due to the fact that the drivers are constantly pushing the limits, crashes in F1 sessions are not that rare. Dramatic incidents occur fairly regularly, but due to advanced modern safety technologies, injuries are thankfully not as common. In fact, drivers are able to instantly walk away from the wreckage even when the impact has been absolutely devastating. These cars are designed to absorb lots of the impact, allowing the drivers to escape mostly unharmed. During the qualifying session for the 2022 Saudi Arabian Grand Prix, Haas driver Mick Schumacher had a huge crash that destroyed his car. He hit the wall heavily, causing massive damage to the rear end sides of his car. He escaped without injuries and was medically cleared to race after a visit to the local hospital. Schumacher felt mentally and physically ready to start the race the next day, but his car was damaged so badly that the Haas team decided to only run one car, due to the fact that the team had a limited supply of parts. Schumacher had yet another big incident during the 2022 Monaco Grand Prix, where he crashed so heavily race control had to bring out a red flag. The rear of his car became visibly detached from the front section, with damages to the car reportedly set to cost the team over $1 million. Schumacher was again able to walk away without injuries, and this is all thanks to the design of the car. The F1 cars are designed to break apart during crashes to allow the energy to dissipate. The amount of energy that the drivers are under during crashes is a major factor in how survivable incidents usually are. The designers and safety officers have to ensure that the cars are designed in a way that parts of the car absorb the energy. These parts stay on the vehicle during crashes, but there are some parts which are designed to break off of the cars and reduce the force on the driver, as this is the best way to protect them. This also means that the cars are lighter and take some of the stress off of the crumple zones. What's key is that the monocoque and halo remain unscathed as these parts are key in physically protecting the driver from impacts. The sections are heavily tested to ensure they carry out their safety function. And so, the parts that are not imperative to keeping a driver safe, such as aerodynamic devices, can be removed by breaking apart from the car without an adverse effect on the driver. The best example of this was seen during the 2020 Bahrain Grand Prix, where former Haas driver Romain Grosjean suffered a massive crash where his car went through a barrier and burst into flames. As Grosjean's monocoque and halo went through the barrier and came to a halt, the rear of his car, which included lots of heavy aspects such as the engine and gearbox, detached from the front and the force he experienced was reduced. As a result of this, Grosjean thankfully survived the incident and was able to walk away with only some minor burns to his hands. Do you think there's anything more that can be done in the car to protect an F1 driver? Leave a comment down below and if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button as well. Share it with your friends or your enemies, but by all means, do something. Happy racing.